15 years remaining. So when the battery dies, do you guys put in a new one or yep. use the battery? Um, so the portion you can feel that's right here in your chest, mm -hmm. um, once the battery dies, they just pop the whole thing out, okay. um, put a new one in. It takes about an hour or so. Okay. Um, so once you get there, the replacement process, people enjoy it much more than the initial because okay. you, you have to go back in and have your leads put in. Um, the recovery process is a lot easier. Okay. And so people very much enjoy the replacement a lot more than the uh, initial input. Is it titanium? That's a good question. <laughs> I've never actually asked what it's made out of. Okay, um, I was wondering because my daughter has uh, rods in her back and okay. she had a nine hour back surgery. A posterior spinal fusion and okay. they put the tit titanium rods and bolts in there. Yeah. But it, it, yeah, I think it just kind of depends on the manufacturer because some some of the newer devices are MRI compatible right and I think it's just uh, I'm not sure I, I think it may be a like a for Eric yeah some okay. sort of plastic maybe composite material right yeah I'm okay. not sure that, that's a great question <laughs> well it shouldn't be painful for you at all um, but it, you may feel maybe a little bit tingling in your chest mm -hmm. but that should be the worst of it for you okay all right here we go What's up, y'all? So, um, as y'all just saw, um, I had my follow up appointment. Um, it was actually on March 29th, and today is actually April 12th. <laughs> um, I wanted to wait until the series strips fell off before I finished my um, follow up appointment video or whatever. Um, but, um, the defibrillator, you know, as you heard, he said it's, you know, working fine. Um, surgery went well. Um, this is how it looks. I thought I was going to be more noticeable than this, but I guess it's not. Um, it's just a small little scar. Um, you can actually, like, if I move my arm a certain way, you can actually, like, see it coming out but yeah so um yeah everything is going good um I don't know if you guys can tell but I am sitting in my chair <laughs> but um you know just a little reminder um I did start a GoFundMe if you guys want to um help me out on getting the lift so that I could take it, you know, with me to the store and stuff like that. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I will put the link in the description down below. Um, also, I just wanted to let you guys know that, excuse my nail, I just broke it this morning. So pissed. But um, I wanted to remind you guys that I am wanting to do a Q and A. Um, not, I haven't gotten very many questions, but um, definitely comment questions down below um, that you would like to know about limb girdle muscular dystrophy. Um, you know the lifestyle, how you know you deal with it, how I, you know what I do on a daily, you know things like that. Um, yeah, definitely let me know any questions you guys have um questions about me is are fine also um, um so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know how you know i'm healing it is actually you know still healing so it's a little red that'll go down and then the scar i'm sure will shrink a little bit too um but 
other than that, um, if you guys could like this video, um, once again, comment down below any questions you guys have. Um, give me some video ideas also, um, what you guys would like to see in videos. Um, and make sure you are subscribed. Um, if you're not, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys for the next video.